right, let's go over the new top five overpowered guns after the recent update here in Modern Warfare 2. If you find this video helpful, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn those post notifications. Noti gang, I see you guys. Now these are gonna be a mixture of both meta as well as off meta weapons that are still viable here in multiplayer. For the first class setup, we're taking a look at the TAC V, which is hands down one of the most underrated weapons in the entire game. It's classified as a battle rifle, but it hits like an LMG and handles like an AR. Now, for the first attachment, we are gonna go ahead and put on the demo clean shot grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as that aim down sight speed. A very important attachment to run on the TAC V in order to bump up that close range handling so we can get that first shot and guaranteeing us that kill. Now for the tune, we are gonna be increasing the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.36, and we're also going to be bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.55 again to bump up the close range handling. Now to strengthen that even more, we are going to rock the TV Cardinal stock to increase our aim walking speed as well as our sprint speed. Now for the tune on the stock, we are going to be increasing the aim walking speed some more to negative 1.24 and we're also going to be increasing the aim down sight speed to negative 0.77. This is gonna literally allow us to walk around, aim down sight, ready to win each and every gunfight. Now, we do not need to run an optic because this weapon's iron sights are crystal clear and super easy to use. We're also gonna be skipping over the laser because it's not gonna be necessary for this class setup. And the barrel is not gonna be used because the barrels are only going to either decrease the range or increase the aim down sight speed. And we do not want that on a battle rifle. Now for the muzzle, we are gonna rock the Polar Fire S. This is gonna give us the best of both worlds here. We're gonna have sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, as well as recoil smoothness. We're gonna be able to get behind enemy spawn, build up a quick and easy streak, because we're gonna be suppressed, gonna be harder to find us, and we're also gonna get that long range capability here. Now for the tune, we are gonna be bumping up the bullet velocity to plus 0.77, and also increasing that aim down sight speed to negative 0.68, so we get the best of both worlds close range as well as long ranges now for the under barrel we are going to rock the commando foregrip to smooth out that recoil pattern and also giving us aiming auto stability the tune on this attachment is going to be increasing the aim walking speed to negative 0.34 and we're also going to be bumping up the aim down sight speed some more to negative 0.41 again to strengthen up the close range handling and then finally we are actually going to be running a magazine here we're going to bump up to the 50 round drum because 20 is not enough now once you guys put these attachments and tune together and jump in the firing range you're going to be pleasantly surprised that this battle rifle is going to have a relatively fast aim down sight and also control of a recoil at longer ranges you're gonna have to burst fire a little bit but the time to kill is so fast it's not going to matter now for the man the setup we are gonna be rocking the combat knife stun grenade proximity mine and my custom perk packet set up for double time scavenger resupply as well as quick fix and for the field upgrades we have pro enabled with the munitions box as well as dead silence now for class number two we're taking a look at the fennec 45 one of the fastest killing SMGs in the entire game. This weapon is incredibly fun to use and I have a setup that is gonna maximize the rate of fire, recoil control, but still have a lot of mobility. Now, first off, we're taking a look at the Finnick rubber grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed. This is gonna be a self-explanatory attachment here. With the weapon that shoots really fast, we get our first shot, we're gonna be getting that kill. Now for the tune, we are going to be bumping up the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.28. And we're also going to be increasing the aim down sight speed to negative 0.68 again to strengthen up the close range handling because why not make this weapon even better where it is strong at. Now we're going to be skipping over the stock here. Normally I'd run the stock cap, aka removing the stock, but I still want to be accurate. So we're going to keep it on. Now for the optic, we're gonna rock the Cronin Mini Pro, AKA the blue dot, because the iron sights are very obstructive. They get in the way, and believe it or not, you can use the Finnick at longer ranges, so why not have a blue dot? Now for the tune, we are just gonna go ahead and increase the aim down sight speed to negative 1.66. I don't really like to go ahead and mess with the eye position, because it's gonna be throwing me off, and honestly, I think this is gonna be the way to go. Now, we're going to be skipping over the laser because this attachment is going to be completely useless on the Finnick. No reason to go ahead and run it. 
Now for the barrel, we're gonna be rocking the Covert Force Barrel instead of the Ninja. Now, a lot of people like to run the Ninja on this weapon, but it's not gonna be necessary and it's gonna be adding extra weight, slowing us down, and that's what we not want to have happen. We're gonna have sound suppression, damage range, full of velocity, as well as hit fire accuracy. Everything we want on a Finnick, and obviously we're gonna maintain that integrated silencer so we have the sound suppression we can run around then we spawn and build up a quick and easy streak now for the tune we are gonna be bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.23 and we're also gonna be increasing the aim walking speed to negative 0.19 so we can go ahead and have a little bit more close range handling and obviously destroy players at where this weapon is going to be strongest at obviously we can't run a muzzle for the under barrel we're gonna rock the lock grip precision 40 we can bump up that hip fire accuracy, recoil steadiness, as well as aim walking steadiness. Overall, to control the recoil a little bit better and be able to take people out at those longer ranges. Now for the tune, we are going to be increasing the aim down sight speed to negative 0.15. And we're going to increase the hip recoil control, not aim walking speed, hip recoil control to plus 0.67. So we can spray and pray off the hip and dominate players at those close ranges. This is where this weapon is going to be strong at. Again, go ahead and make it even stronger and then finally for the magazine we are going to rock the 45 round mag this weapon is a fast fire we're going to need all the ammo we can get now once you guys go ahead and build the setup and jump into the firing range you're going to see that the fennec 45 not only has a fast ads but it's also going to have very very little recoil the remainder of the build is going to be the combat knife stun grenade proximity mine and my custom perk packet set up for double time scavenger resupply as well as quick fix and we are rocking the pro field upgrade with munitions box and the dead silence definitely a fantastic phoenix setup you guys should check out right now now for class setup number three we are going to be running it back with the m4 the m4 is a tried and true consistent assault rifle and especially when you build it like the modern one for 2019 version it's going to be even better than it was before now for the m4 we're starting off with actually the stock here and we're going to be completely removing it we're not going to run a rear grip because we have other attachments that are going to be more beneficial the buffer tube is going to be perfect because we're going to have increased aim down sight speed sprint to fire speed movement speed as well as hip recoil control overall making this long range ar even better at those close ranges you can seriously run and gun rush and get down with this ar now unfortunately we cannot attune this attachment we're gonna be skipping over the optic because the iron tights are crystal clear with this build even at longer ranges now for the laser this is going to be skipped over because it's not going to be helping us out in the slightest but we are going to be rocking a barrel and you absolutely must run the high tower 20 inch barrel so you can use this weapon at those medium and then longer ranges we're gonna have increased bullet velocity damage range recoil control as well as hip fire accuracy allowing us to dominate at any and all ranges and that's why the m4 is going to be a dominant ar now for the tune here we are going to be bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.10 and we're also going to be bumping up the aim walking speed almost all the way down to negative 0.42 remember maxing out maxing out the sliders is not going to be your best option you're going to be doing more harm than good now for the muzzle we have on the Eculus 80, so we can go ahead and increase the sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil smoothness. The best muzzle to run on the M4, again, allowing us to have the close as well as long range capabilities, being able to run around the spawn, but because it's a quick and easy streak, and take people out at those longer ranges. Now for the tune, we are gonna be increasing the bullet velocity to plus 0.74, and also bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.68, again, best of both worlds, close range, as well as long range and then finally we are going to be running over to the under barrel and we're going to be selecting the commando foregrip to smooth out that recoil pattern and allowing us to be very accurate at longer ranges and have additional aiming idle stability now for the tune we are going to be bumping up the aim walking speed to negative 0.32 and bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.15 to further strengthen the close range capability now we are going to rock a magazine here which is going to be the 60 round mag now this is going to be perfect because we have plenty of ammo to take out as many people as possible destroy the whole enemy team and still have bullets left over and after you guys actually build up this class setup and tune it properly you're going to see in the firing range that the m4 even with a high capacity mag is going to have a relatively quick aim down sight and also it's going to be incredibly accurate and have a fast time to kill at range now 
From in the build, we have on the combat knife. Stun Grenade, Proximity Mine, and for the Custom Perk Package, we have on Double Time Scavenger, Resupply, as well as Quick Fix. And then, obviously, for the Field Upgrades, we have Pro Enabled with Munitions Box, as well as Dead Silence. For this M4 class that they try, it's a throwback from Modern for 2019 that's even more kick-ass here in 2022. Now, for class setup number four, for, we are going to be taking a look at the RPK, which is a very underrated LMG. LMG. I'm saying it in air quotes because it feels like the cast off 762, but instead we have a free 75 round magazine. Now, I took some of your guys' advice to run the 75 round mag on the RPK instead of swapping out for the 30 round, and honestly, I've been enjoying it a lot more. So, for the RPK, we are going to have to rock the true tat grip. Mandatory, no ifs, ands, ors, or buts about it. To bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as that aim down sight speed. Again, so we can make this LMG feel more like an assault rifle. For the tune, we are going to be bumping up the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.15 and also bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.77. Again, to strengthen up the close range handling and make it feel like an assault rifle. We are going to rock the Pro Light TL3 stock in order to go ahead and strengthen that close range handling some more. We're going to have sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, as well as aim down sight speed, a mandatory attachment on the RPK to make it feel like a high capacity 762. Now, for the tune, we are going to be bumping up the aim walking speed almost all the way down to negative 2.25 and also bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 2.32, making sure that we can snap on the players, get that first shot. And guaranteeing us that kill now obviously for the optic not gonna be necessary the iron sights are crystal clear we don't need any optics to take people out at longer ranges and the same thing goes for the laser it's just not gonna be necessary so we're gonna be skipping over this attachment now for the barrel we're gonna rock the cast 7406 millimeter barrel to bump up the aim down sight speed hip recoil control as well as movement speed remember we're trying to transform this lmg into an assault rifle here so for the tune, we are going to be going ahead and increasing the aim down sight speed to negative 0.26 and also bumping up the aim walking speed to negative 0.13. Again, close range handling, making this feel like an assault rifle. Now for the muzzle, Polar Fire S is going to be working out the best. We're still going to be running and gunning. We're still going to be flanking. We're still going to be getting enemy spawn. This is going to help us out tremendously with that sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, as well as added recoil smoothness. So for the tune, we are going to be increasing that bullet velocity. That's going to be where we're going to be making up that range to 0.77 and bumping up that aim down sight speed to negative 1.04. Best of both worlds, close range as well as long ranges. Now for the underbarrel, we are going to rock the commando foregrip to tie off this entire class setup, smoothing out that recoil pattern and having additional aiming idle stability. Now for the tune, we are going to be increasing the aim walking speed to negative 0.31 and also bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.65 in order to go ahead and have a laser accurate yet fast ADS LMG AR hybrid. This gun's gonna have a fast aim down sight. It's gonna be melting at those longer ranges and you're gonna have 75 bullets to go ahead and lay loose and mow down the enemy team. Now, man, the build is gonna be the combat knife, stun grenade, proximity mine, and our custom perk package set up for double time scavenger resupply quick fix and then finally for our field upgrades we have pro enabled with munitions box as well as dead silence make sure you guys go ahead and give the rpk a try it is criminally underrated i don't know why people are not running more of these builds with this weapon now for class setup number five we're taking a look at an ar smg hybrid the fss hurricane this is going to be one of the best smgs to use if you guys are trying to take people out at those longer ranges now this smg when you build it as an assault reveal is still going to handle like an smg which is going to be a huge positive in my book and that's kind of what we're trying to do here with all these off meta hybrid weapons it's ironic because all the hybrids are off meta guns that are still viable now for the hurricane we are going to start off with the x10 grip to bump up that sprint to fire speed as well as aim down sight speed it's still a submachine gun after all we're going to strengthen where this weapon is going to be good at now for the tomb we're going to be increasing the sprint to fire speed to negative 0.32 and also bumping up that aim down sight speed to negative 0.19 now for the stock, we are going to rock the Quicksilver stock. Luckily, this stock is tunable. So we're going to take advantage of the sprint speed, aim down sight speed, aim walking speed, as well as crouch movement speed. Everything we need for a fast, agile SMG AR hybrid that's going to be destroying a lot of people at those close to medium ranges. 
now for the tune we're gonna be bumping up the aim walking speed some more to negative 1.08 and also increasing the aim down sight speed to negative 2.58 again so we can literally snap on the players and also walk around aim down sight ready to win each and every gunfight which is going to be huge on this submachine gun for the optic we're going to leave it alone the iron tights are actually pretty solid especially when you build the ar version of the hurricane now the laser unnecessary we're going to be sleeping right over this for the barrel we're going to be rocking the fss cannon 16 inch barrel so we can bump up that damage range hip fire accuracy and bullet velocity this is how you transform this smg into an assault rifle now for the tune we are going to be increasing the aim down sight speed not the damage range we're not going to need it and also we want to have a fast ads to negative 0.34 and we're also going to be increasing that aim walking speed to negative 0.08 just slightly so we can get that edge and walk around and be able to destroy players without leaving the site going to be really good because we have the best of both worlds here now for the muzzle we are going to be going ahead and rocking the sin guard nk5 it's going to be super effective because we're going to have sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and recoil smoothness remember it's a submachine gun still we're going to be in the spawn we're going to be flanking but if we do get into a long range engagement we're not going to have to worry about it because we still have ar range now for the tune we are going to be increasing the bullet velocity this is where we're going to be making up the range here to plus 0.81 and also bumping up the aim down sight speed to negative 0.99 overall making this weapon nasty at any and all ranges absolutely a monster now finally for the under barrel we are going to rock the commando foregrip to smooth out that recoil pattern and also giving us aiming idle stability for the tune we are going to be going ahead and increasing the aim walking speed to negative 0.22 and then aim down sight speed to negative 0.52 again close range handling making sure this weapon is going to be disgusting and after all it's still an smg and once you have all these attachments equipped and tuned you're going to find out in the firing range the hurricane is going to have a fast ads and literally quite literally it has no recoil and even at longer ranges you're going to be melting i mean what other smg in this game is this easy to use that also has a 50 round magazine by default that still packs a punch at longer ranges Man, the setup is going to be the combat knife, stun grenade, proximity mine, and my custom perk packet setup for double time scavenger, resupply, as well as quick fix. And for the field upgrades, obviously we have pro enabled with munitions box as well as dead silence. These are going to be the top five most overpowered guns in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer after the recent update. If there are two classes I want you guys to check out right now, definitely go ahead and give the TAC V a go. This weapon is disgusting. Remember, you have to put on the Cardinal stock here. It's going to make or break this entire build. And also, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the RPK here because this gun is literally like the 762, but better and again the pro light to3 stock is going to be increasing that handling making this lmg feel more like an assault rifle and better than the 762 if you guys know the video make sure you drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications yeah it's been your boy ears i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one this is